Good morning to all. Myself T K Madhu, Selection Grade Lecturer, GPT Tarihal. So today the session is on how to start fifth sem lab for automation and robotics, and I want to show what are the experiments we can start immediately. There are some experiments with discrete components, and we need some kits also. So now using my PPT, I am going to explain in detail. So here in the fifth sem automation robotics, I made some of the experiments as part one, and the part two starts from the PLC. So now today we are not going to do on PLC. In the part one we will see what are the experiments I covered, where we can start for the practicals immediately. So here in the part one we can easily complete two experiments. Say the first one, practice build a circuit for sensing any object. Using proximity sensor and indicating with LED. So this experiment we can do with the discrete components. So no need to go for the PCBs like that. Even then, if you want PCB, and there will not be any students doing in that. So better use discrete components for doing this experiment so that we can complete with the help of breadboard itself. So coming to the second one, this is also similar where we can implement with breadboard. See here, uh, practice. Build a circuit on proximity sensor, color sensor, sound sensor, and temperature. So here, the students can do the proximity sensor. Anyhow, we have done in the first experiment, so no need to conduct here. And color sensor doing without Arduino, it becomes very tough. So better you have to drop it. Anyhow, they have given in our syllabus or it is, it is or. So you can go for a sound sensor. Where sound sensor using, we can do a clap switch. But using more hardware with uh, mic, it will be tough for the students. Better you choose temperature sensor. So it becomes very easy. We can do with the help of discrete circuits. I have already these two circuits. I have uh, put in YouTube channel by name MS Tech T K Madhu. So now coming to the third experiment. Third experiment is a quite interesting and very easy to do. Practice build a circuit to control manually operated motor using contactor and relay. So here, before going to this experiment, we should know that these two components, relay and contactor. So usually, you should take a 12 volt power supply. You have to make initially this uh, relay on. With the help of this relay, we can make this contactor on. Why this contactor is used? Because suppose if I want to make all my Street lights on in in some of the colony, so their huge power will be consuming, say 30 amps or 60 amps sometimes. So for that purpose, the relay can't withstand. The relay can't withstand. So we have to use contactor. So with the help of relay, we are driving this contactor, and with the help of this contactor, we can connect a large load or n number of street lights or wherever huge load is there. For say in industries like that. We can use this contactor. So I am going to <coughs> put a video in the YouTube channel about this in detail shortly. So next, coming to the next slide, build a circuit using Arduino for the listed given below. There are some sensors given for us, like proximity sensor, color sensor, sound sensor, and temperature sensor. In that, the first one is the same. Aim we have to do for n number of sensors. So these sensors are quite interesting and very simple. We have made it, and the thing whatever we are doing the videos we have simplified it. Actually, uh, where the student should be able to do it easily. So we have simplified as much as possible. So the proximity sensor is here. So this is the fourth experiment you can take it. And coming to the fifth one, same title. We have to build a circuit using Arduino, and you should be interface it to. Color sensor. So here, the color sensor. After uh, writing a program for that, so if you keep a, any red color in front of the sensor, it has to display red in the LCD. 
Similarly, if you keep any other color also, you should display. So, that we can do with the help of this color sensor. Next, same experiment, we have to do sound. So, here coming to the sound, to make it easy for the students, better you can do clap switch here. So, once if you clap, the light should be on. Once if you clap again, the light should be off. So, this I am going to, all these experiments, all these sensors, we are going to explain in detail with uh, the kids and all. So, next one, again temperature. So, here we have to read the temperature and we are planning to use, we have used and tested already using LM35, whatever the temperature is there, it has to display on the LCD. So, if I, if you see here, there are uh, four experiments in Arduino, three already we have explained in the discrete. So, again, these are all we can do in the kit itself. And there are some other experiments where this also you need Arduino kit. Like, see, uh, you have to see how many vehicles has been parked, it has to be indicated to us. So, and they say we have to implement in the college also. So, this we can do it in the lab. Similarly, one more experiment. So, we have to display how many students are entered in the classroom and we have to display it in the LCD. Next. So, here it is a like power saving experiment. So, whenever all the students are there in the classroom or lab, the lights and fan should be on and if no one is there and this lights and fan should be off. This is also quite interesting. So, this also we will explain in detail. So, this is about the lab information. So, in the coming in the videos, uh, experiment wise I am going to explain each one of them in detail and we will be uploading to our channel. Thank you.